Hello everyone, welcome back to this series of our discussions with regards to EM technology. So for part one of this series, we talk about microorganisms and there are two types of microorganisms. We have the harmful and we have the beneficial microorganisms. Uh, in part two, we discuss about EM technology. We talk about uh, the different microbes that are present in EM technology and the function or the uses of each microbe. All right. So for part three, we're going to talk about EM technology as applied in agriculture. Right. So basically, EM is used to increase yield and improve quality of production. Right. So if you want to produce uh, vegetables, fruits that have longer shelf life, EM technology is the technology for you, right? We also use EM technology for uh, convert organic waste into fertilizer and then if we want to achieve prolific yield, uh, EM technology is also used in, in this aspect. Right? So in this photo, you see how these farmers are you know, spreading uh, fertilizer. Uh, in this particular case, we use Bukashi to fertilize a rice field. In other countries, they use EM technology to, you know, to have, you know, more yield in terms of the fruit trees. Okay. And in terms of root crops, when you apply EM in the soil, you will be producing, you know, bigger root crops like this cassava in the picture including you know uh, vegetables or fruits or vegetables this is uh, patola i am not so sure what is the other name of this vegetable but basically asians love to eat this uh, vegetable including uh, this giant pomelo okay in some cases, you know, they look big and yet they have very small, you know, uh, flesh inside. But in this particular case, they're really big, okay? And uh, you want to uh, raise fish, uh, you want to culture fish, you know, EM is very beneficial also to aquatic life all right in fact in my small uh, fish pond in uh, you know in my backyard in nairobi i only use em technology there I, I don't even replace the water of my fish pond i just use em to to clear the water and then neutralize all those ammonia that are that is toxic to the to the fish all right you can also use EM technology for your pig pens, including, you know, for your dog pens, okay? It will eliminate foul odor. And if you bait your dogs, you know, using uh, EM, their fur will become shiny, including ticks and flies will be eliminated. And then there's no need for soap and pet shampoo. So what you can do for animal husbandry, you can spray EM into the shed. You can also put EM into their drinking water. And then you can use EM Bokashi and mix them into your feed, right? So basically what we're saying here is EM can control foul odor and flies, prevent disease by improving immune system, improve the quality of products, you know, your eggs, your milk, your meat reduce cost of the waste management because we're going to compose and recycle 
and then we're going to treat water all right through em and em can also eliminate foul odor and enhance the decomposition of organic matter how i wish we can share this technology even to our politicians to our local you know officials but now we can manage waste very well and then produce fertilizer for our farmers in fact in malaysia they use em to revitalize you know and clean nature so as you can see here uh, a river that is very polluted plenty of sludge okay and then three months after applying em the sludge disappeared completely in thailand they do that as well all right after the tsunami they use em by the way to disinfect you know to eliminate you know foul odor as we can remember uh, this disaster has really caused a lot of death in in thailand so when we have a re relocation site and we want to you know uh, disinfect and uh, eliminate foul odor all right introduce good bacteria you can use em as well in fact in in, in the philippines in samwanga city in 2013 after the war they sprayed em in the environment okay in the emergency relief areas in portalet areas you know uh, to maintain hygiene you know to avoid diseases and you know and whatnot so EM technology can be used in cleaning lakes. So in Thailand, they spray EM to clean their lakes, okay? Including rivers, okay? So any polluted river or lake, you can, you know, uh, spray with EM. Remember uh, the philosophy of EM is that it is low cost and very affordable all right now there is a new experiment when you mix EM with cement or concrete according to research that concrete will last uh, 536 years okay according to study in in, in, in the Indonesia right in some countries, by the way, they, especially in South Africa, they have now developed, you know, cosmetics and dermatological products using EM. In the USA, they have now developed and produced, you know, products that are available for human consumption, okay, which is EM-based. Now, at home, by the way, we don't use uh, any synthetic material to clean our, you know, our toilet and so on and so forth. We use EM at home. So that's the end of our uh, part three series of this discussion about EM technology. Again, if you are new to this channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you will be notified every time we have a new video. And don't forget to like and share also this video. All right. So that's it for now. Our next topic will be specifically we're going to talk about EM1. Okay. And what are the things that we can do uh, for, for this uh, EM1 solution.